Hello. A short while ago, we asked you to send us your questions regarding all things Be Quiet, which you did in astonishing numbers. First and foremost, thank you very much for that. And secondly, here are some answers. Oliviero Di Marvicero asks, why don't you build fans, power supply units or coolers with RGB? Of course, we noticed that this particular trend has evolved into a standard. We do pursue the topic in no small parts thanks to your continuous inquiries, but we don't want to make quick promises. You see, our name is Be Quiet and not Be Flashy, which means that if we do RGB, it really needs to be included seamlessly into our product concepts. We keep an open mind there, but we can't make any promises. Question. When will you build a mini ITX or cube case? Well, cases are our newest field of business, which still grows and develops. So we are generally very open to the idea of a very small be quiet case. That being said, there are two problems, a very small number of potential customers and also very specific requirements towards the cooling concept. So once again, the only thing we can say right now is it's on our roadmap. Nick Stelberg has asked us, why don't you make more white products? White products? Now, wait a second there. Yes, we do. We have released our Darkbase Pro 900 and Darkbase 700 cases in limited white editions. Our upcoming Purebase 500 will be available regularly in white color, just as the Shadow Wings 2 fans will be, both without any limitations. So we do mind white components in general, but that does not mean that older products will be available in white as well. For example, we do not have any plans for white Silent Wings 3 fans. Anyway, there will be more white stuff in our future. Question, when will the Purebase 500 be available? Well, there is no final date as of now, but it will be sometime in September. The same goes for the White Shadow Wings 2, which will be available on September 3rd. We are very sorry about the delay. Moritz Aberman has asked us, why don't you build graphics card coolers? Well, that's something we get to read and hear a lot. On the one hand, that's quite flattering. On the other hand, it's probably not gonna happen. The main reason for that is that there is a multitude of graphics card formats and cooling layouts, which make it nigh impossible to create an all-purpose accessory fan. Also, once again, the possible market for that would be very small. Hmm. Let's put the card before the horse then and create our very own graphics cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, never gonna happen. <laughs> That's pretty much impossible for a company our size. The same goes for motherboards, a question I've also stumbled upon here and there. Question by Fabian Reisetbauer. Will you make fans smaller than 80 millimeters? Well, here's the problem. In order to achieve high cooling power, a small fan has to rotate faster than a big one. More revolutions per minute automatically mean more noise, which means from a certain point on a really small fan simply has to become really loud in order to be of any use, which really doesn't fit our name. So long story short, no, there are no such plans. But how about the opposite? Really big fans beyond the 140 millimeters. Well, these also have physical limitations, which are thankfully not quite as restrictive as they are with small fans. We've already researched 200 millimeter fans a couple of years ago and determined that we could actually pull them off within the limitations of our own standards. However, there is once again the problem that there is almost no market for that kind of fan. Very few cases and radiators support the size, so additional investment in this particular field was deemed too much of a risk. The following question is one we frequently receive from our American fans. Why is our Silent Loop series not available in the US of A? The unavailability of the silent loops in the US is based on highly annoying and unfortunately also highly restrictive proprietary reasons. That being said, there's also good news. We are going to release a brand new water cooling series in 2020 and this time it's going to be available worldwide. So stay tuned for more news there. Question by Daniel Schmidt. Why don't you build big and quiet room fans? Yeah, we get it. As summers get warmer and warmer, it's quite pleasant to have a cool breeze flowing through the bedroom at night. Unfortunately, the fans creating these breezes tend to be quite noisy, hence the need for something that says, be quiet. 
The big problem there is that you can't simply scale our cooler technology from small to big. A room fan has few big and wide blades with which it moves very different volumes of air than a dedicated case fan. Designing a big fan is not the problem, keeping it quiet is. Which means we can't make any promises here either. Which is why for the time being we have to continue facing the climate change with loud fans. Sorry. Alfonso Cardiniena and Fabian Schnabel asked us, are you working on a titanium certified PSU? Maybe the fabled Dark Power Pro 12? Please rest assured that we are working very hard on the continuation of our flagship PSU series in general and even more efficiently working power supply units in specific. But right now there is nothing new to report. As soon as we've got news, we are going to share them with you on our social media channels. Question by Andy Techie. Is there be quite merchandise available or even a fan shop? Of course, we do produce merchandise for special occasions like conventions or giveaways, things like the shirts we are wearing right now, or these cups containing liquids of magic. Ah, delicious and quiet. We do not have a merchandise store per se, but don't get us wrong. It's really good to know that there are fans out there who would love to give us money in order to be able to wear our logo on their chest or head. We hear you and we are going to look into that. Kinda sort of weird question. Could you have made your logo look any more like Pornhubs? Yeah, well, be quiet in its logo exists since 2001, Pornhub since 2007. You do the math. Next question, please. Yeah, by Dandy. Why aren't you adding USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 2 front ports to all of your current cases? Because it's an expensive feature that's right now being used by only very few devices. Which is why we are limiting it to our high-end cases, at least for the time being. But our case product managers are already working on including Type-C in other cases as well. There is probably going to be news on that later this year. Speaking of cases, one question we're receiving on a semi-regular basis is, will there be a PSU shroud for the Pure Base 600? Unfortunately, no, there won't. The case is simply not made for that and would have to be completely rehauled in order to be able to include such an extension, sorry. Question, will there be sleeved cable kits or single cables? Well, there already are. Check out BeQuiet.com or your favorite online shop. Question, are you planning on extending your product range, Be Quiet? Well, this question is not easy to answer. Of course, we have always evolved. First, we developed our own power supplies, then fans and CPU coolers, followed by PC cases. But I get the feeling that the question aims in a different direction. Really nice room fans, for example. Exactly. Mm. Or Bluetooth speakers, gaming chairs, keyboards, mouses, electric cars, something like that. But of course, that's far from easy. We see ourselves as die-hard specialists in our profession. We invest a lot of time and money into the development of our products, which we understand deeply and which have made us quite popular. But that does not mean that we are going to develop just power supplies, cases and cooling solutions for all eternity. We experiment and research in all directions and if one of them turns out to be interesting to us, then we are going to pursue it consistently. After all, there are many things out there that really could be quieter. Still, for the time being, our main focus is to remain on top of our current field. All right. That's our first answer round, but it will not have been the last as we could not answer all of your questions here. So please keep them coming and we are going to answer them in another video soon. The comment box below just waits for you and we read every single feedback to us. Until then, thank you very much for watching and for the question asking. See you next time.